Hello. Well, we're doing another dissection today. We're going to be going for another arthropod, but this time it's in a class insecta. So let's come down and take a look at our grasshopper. So I'm going to decide which which side I want to um, use for my dissection. I think I'm going to use this side here. So I'm going to remove this leg and I'm going to place our third pair of legs right there. And let's go over the three main body parts of the wonderful world of insects. So the first one we have is the head. Um, then just uh, posterior to that we have um, our thorax. So it goes from here, the thorax, all the way to here. Okay, and then from this line right here, all the way back is the abdomen. So we got head, thorax, and abdomen. All right. We have something that covers, um, well, let me say this first, that the, the thorax is actually divided into three sections. And the easiest way to do that is to, um, to find the legs. And the, leg, the front legs, so the first pair of legs, is uh, connected to the prothoracic region. Okay, that's this region right here. So prothoracic region. And then the second leg is the mesothoracic, the middle, mesothoracic. And then the third one that I had removed is the metathoracic. So prothoracic, mesothoracic, or mesothoracic, and the um, metathoracic region. Okay? And then covering the, the prothoracic area is the pronotum. So this big shield right here that goes all the way around. This big, huge shield, which is very much like the carapace on the, the crayfish, is, is the pronotum. And then in this particular species, you have these feeble little wings. You have an anterior wing, and right underneath that is another one. That's called the posterior wing. So anterior wing, posterior wing. And while we're here, take a look at this little bugger. This is the tympanic membrane. This is what they use to, to detect um, sound. So the auditory membrane, or auditory sac. It's a lot like your tympanic membrane. You can call it that too if you want. And um, let's see, let's go on down here. This is, uh, these little tiny holes are really hard to see and you probably can't see them. Um, but you can see one right there. I can feel them with my probe. Those are spiracles. And the spiracles are the openings into the abdomen. And so the spiracles are connected to trachea and then into tracheals to help uh, this, this arthropod exchange gases. All right, and then of course we have the antenna and the eyes, and um, we've got a female here in terms of gender. Um, we have claspers here that are used to lay the eggs, okay, and the males wouldn't have the claspers. All right, to get um, the mouth parts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back here and let you look at the mouth parts a little bit. And we're going to remove the mouth parts and place these uh, right next uh, to us here and make sure we understand all the intricacies of the mouth parts of this arthropod. But I'm going to place my my forceps right underneath here. This is the uh, the clapeus, okay, right there, and the labrum. And I'm going to grab that, hold onto the head, make sure that head stays on, and I'm going to pull down like this. So I'm going to place all these parts right next to me here. The next part I'm going to remove is the mandible. Now to, to remove the mandibles, I'm going to put my index finger on either side of the eyes here, and I'm going to grab this mandible, and I'm going to pull it right there. And off it comes. It's actually much more difficult than the, what it looks like. I'm going to place my, my mandible here. So I got the upper lip, I have my clapeus, and my labrum. And I'm going to grab that other, other mandible. I can just stick, extract that right there. So, mandibles. And then I'm going to go for the maxilla. Sorry, maxilla. Okay, there's one maxilla. And the other one right here. I'll hold onto that head to support it. I also have the maxillary palps with that, you see. So all these work in unison and 
um, they're able to manipulate their food and obtain the, the plant matter that they need. So this can move up and down. There's muscles that are connected up here in the head. Uh, the mandible muscles are, are connected up there as well. And your maxilla and your maxillary palps. Okay, the bottom lip, the labium, I'm going to grab here with the labial palps. That leg is in the way there. Okay, so I got the bottom lip. So I'm going to put that right here. Now I'm going to grab the hypopharynx. So as the, the grasshopper chews its food, it'll kind of chew it into a pulp, and this little organ right here, the hypopharynx, will actually suck in the food to get it to go inside the crop. So I'm going to place that right there. Okay, so let's go over these again. So at the very top, I have the clapeus, and that's above this line right here, this little piece. Some of it's still on the head there. And the labrum, this piece, maxilla, or excuse me, the mandibles, and the hypopharynx, maxilla with the maxillary palps, maxilla, maxillary palps, and labium with the labial palps. Okay? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and take a look at the simple but very effective anatomy of an arthropod. And what we want to do, again, we want to hold it, and I'm going to go in laterally, just underneath the skin, and I'm cutting on the side that I removed that leg at the very beginning. Going just underneath, and I'm going to go between the legs and the wings. I'm going to go just underneath here, go through the thorax, and I'm going to stop right there before I get to the head. So I'm cutting through the pernotum there. Then I'm going to open up the grasshopper, like so. And I'm going to pin the grasshopper. Remember the angle that we use when we're pinning. Okay. And we have a female here, as we, as we mentioned. So there are many eggs that are inside here. And it looks like I'm going to need to cut that a little better down along here. So I can open that up just a little bit more. All right. Remember, there are no special effects here. This is the real deal. The giant arthropod. The grasshopper. All right. So let's point out some of these parts real quick. We've got uh, the crop which is right here. And you're familiar with the crop because you saw the crop in the annelid we dissected the earthworm. So here's the crop right here. And then for digestion, they have these pouches. And notice the pouches connect right here and there's little finger-like pouches that go anteriorly and posteriorly. All right, so they're connecting right here and they dump uh, digestive juices into the, the system. So they're helping to uh, release enzymes to break down the plant material. Okay, and then just posterior to that, we have the stomach region. Okay, so here's the stomach region, then the intestines, and then the rectum. So we've got crop, gastric cica, just posterior to the gastric cica, we have the stomach region, the intestines, and then rectum. All right, right here we have the eggs. So this female is loaded with eggs. So this is one of her eggs, two of her eggs. Okay, and I'm gonna set those right there. I'm actually gonna remove all the eggs because they're kind of in the way just a little bit. Um, let's see if I can find, here's the dorsal blood vessel right here. That's the dorsal blood vessel. And that kind of came off when I was opening it. And hopefully you'll be able to see that. And then, so all of this is egg right here. I'm just going to actually, I'm going to keep it attached. I'm just going to move it to the side like that. Okay. Then I'm going to spin this around now, and I'm going to show you the ventral nerve cord. Because remember, these arthropods have ventral nerve cords. And sometimes that's hard to find, but I'm going to remove this 
tissue right here. And as I do, you're going to see a, like a strap that comes right out of the brain and goes down along ventrally. And that's the ventral nerve cord. And we're going to see that switch when we go, get into vertebrates. We're going to see the nerve cord move uh, dorsally and then be encased also in bone. Because this is quite precarious. It's right out in the open here. And, and with vertebrates, that's, that's stuck in the uh, vertebral column. Okay. All right. So these are the intricacies of the arthropod and in the class insecta.